this person here is going to go across there. When the shot's on, you're going to shoot against Matt. And obviously it's quite close, so I don't want you smashing the ball in. I want just a nice pass shot into the corners if we can, yeah? Right, that's that one. These guys, you're going to pass into this player who then works around, gives it back, and it's a little combination, and then you go back again, yeah? So your end product there is your combination. Your end product there is your shot. These three, if we've done a pass and we've done a shot, what else would we have in the game? A cross. So we're going to cross the ball to that player there, and so on, yeah? Good save. On your feet. Gary's there. Good. Nice and quick distribution here then, Matt, yeah? Good decision, Macca. I like it. There you go, can you pop it out? Good. Play shot there, Zach, yeah? Good movement, Tommy, like that. Okay, good, stop there. Right, okay. So what's the biggest thing you've got to do with your head in this session? You've got to be looking around. What's that nice word we like to use? You've got to be scanning around. You've got to be so nosy in here to know exactly where the ball is at every single moment of time, yeah? Obviously, with the dribbling, what wanted three end products, which one of them was a shot on goal. So we had the keeper to involve the keeper in the session because obviously we had a goalkeeper tonight. Um, we had one which was a combination player around a mannequin. And then the third one was the cross. So they were actually running down the side of the pitch. Not a huge cross because they're still warming up and getting used to the ball, but just getting them into the right frame of mind obviously to get their head up and see the cross as the end product. Come on Matt. Think of your start position there Matt, yeah? Would you stay on the line all the time? There you go, good boy. Make it smaller. And then obviously in that session we added uh, the neutral player in the middle. So again, which we keep saying the picture changes in the game so much. You know, we can't just have them running in straight lines because the picture does change. There's another player there. Can they use them? It's their decision. Now, Aaron is going to be the magic man in here. He is the Iniesta. We want him on the ball as much as he can. But if you're running with the ball, you might get your head up because it might be Aaron's there. You start running through, Tommy. Saying, I'm Aaron. Pop it in, Tommy. It may be now. I play a little set in there with you. And then he gets around. And then I'm back in here. Then we're back in for the next person, yeah? It could be, yes, Macca, if you're dribbling through, we can pop the ball into you. It could be, yes, Darry, you're dribbling through, start dribbling, I say, Darry, good, there we go, and I can play a little combination there, yeah? So you've got to work in here, playing the combination. Off you go, play. And that's what we try and stress all the time, is, is their decision. It's not our decision. We just set the pictures and let them then work out the puzzles themselves, really.